be thankful for Kodachrome color film, preserving these views of a rare U.S. Coast Guard consolidated PB4Y1 Liberator on Guam in July 1945. The Coast Guard provided navigation aids around the world during the war, and this Coast Guard Liberator is said to have checked Loran navigation equipment in the Pacific. This was of use to ships and aircraft equipped with Loran all-weather long-range radio navigation gear. This PB4Y1 is from a Navy allotment of Liberators and shows the traditional Navy triple-tone C camouflage of the era. With the forward bomb bay doors rolled open, their stark white color contrasts with the sides of the fuselage. The vertical fins say U.S. Navy, U.S. Coast Guard has been applied to the aft fuselage. Close-up scenes of men working on the number three Pratt & Whitney engine show details of the wide oval cowlings camouflage paint. This vintage color film is an inspiration for model builders and artists as it shows the slightly weathered camouflage colors in service. Here's a different Navy PB4Y1 with its version of triple tone camouflage. Sold to a civilian owner, this Liberator was photographed at Troutdale, Oregon around 1950 or 51. This color profile of the Troutdale 4Y1 was made by Tom Wynell, a former F-8 Crusader pilot with considerable artistic and modeling skills. I'm Fred Johnson for the Airrail Images channel. Thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. It helps.